second lecture on matrices. Now we're doing matrix matrix multiplication this time. So let's suggest we have the row vector, which is what we call it, where it's just an m by one, and we have the column vector, and we want to multiply the other. We do it by the dot mate, the dot product. So we times one dot the other. Now this can be done in the sum if you wanted to write down the formula for it, where i is one going to n, and it's xi times yi. So we have x1 to start off with, and so on, all the way up to n. Now let's suggest they are not the same shape. So what we have a is an m by n and B is an N by Q. Now these are not the same shape, so you'd think it'd be difficult to multiply them. But what you do, first we want to find C, which is A times B, and that is going to be M times Q. So what we do, if this one has the same number of columns as this one has the same number of rows, then we simply drop off that letter and just put them together. So we have an, from M times N, and n times q, the n's kind of disappear, and we have an n times q. And that gives us c, which is a c i j, where i is from 1 to m, because that was our first one over here, and j is from 1 to q, because that was here. And I think I've, I've represented this in like a table for you. So we have a1 times b1, a1 times b2, so on, up to a m times bq. And that's how it's represented. Now, the formula for looking this out is where we have Cij equals to Ai times Bj. This is the sum of from i equals 1 to n of Aik times Bkj. Now, I've got an example here, so let's suggest we want to find C11, which should be the first, the very first number like here as it's one across and one down, yeah? So we have C11 equals A1 times B1, it's got here. So we have A I equals one. That should be a K actually. That should be a K equals one. So we have K equals one, so we know that I is one already from here and j is 1 from here, so as this, so we have a11 times b11, so let's have a look over here, we've got a11 is 1 times b11 is 0, so c11 will also be 0 because 1 times 0 is 0. Yeah, the same for, let's say another one, uh, 1, 2. So we want to have c12. So we have C1 times B2. So we have A11, because I is 1, which is 1, times B12. And B12 is 1, 2. So it's 1. So C12 will be 1. 1 times 1. There's a couple of laws you need to know, which are mostly pretty obvious, but it's nice to know that they, in case, in case they change, because we're, we're dealing with matrices and not just normal algebra now. So we have A times B plus C equals AB plus AC. We also have A plus B times C is equal to AC plus BC. R, which would be an integer value times AB is the same as RA times B, which is the same as A times RB. We also have, and these are your substitutive, so we have A times BC is the same as AB times C. Now to prove these, you can use the sums. So like back when I showed the dot product of two vectors, I had the sum of Aij times Bij, I think. So 
here, we just use those to prove them. So we'd let this side equal Eij and this side equal Fij, and we're trying to prove that they're equate. So we'd have like a, the sum of Aij times Bij plus Cij in the bracket, and you change it around a bit, and you'd end up with something like that. Warning. Now we must remember in matrix matrices that AB does not always equal BA. There is one case in a minute where I'll show you that it does, but it generally doesn't. So you have to remember that when you're doing equations. And here's an example where it doesn't. Because you have A, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, and B, which is 0, 0, 1, 0. Now if we were to time some AB, we'd have 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1, which is 1, uh, 0 times 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now it's a very quick multiplication. And you could please that second time by how it works. And that gives us 1, 0, 0, 1. Now if we were to do BA, we'd have uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is 0. So we already know they're different already. So, that, so we know now that AB does not equal BA. And one last thing is the identity matrix, which is this. Now it's always a square, so it's an N by N, you could call it. And what it is from the top left down to the bottom right is a diagonal line of ones. Now to draw this, you can either say that when I, J, I, I equals J, then it equals 1. So here we have, let's call this A, we'll have it A11, so A11, 1, 1, 1 equals 1, so it's 1. A22, 2, 2 equals 2, so it's 1. Now if it doesn't, so if I does not equal J, then it's a 0, that's why there's going to be a lot more zeros than 1s. And the th good thing about the identity matrix is if, if you times it by anything, it will equal the normal matrix. So A times the identity matrix equals A. And, it, and this is the like, one rule against the fact that AB does not equal BA, because we have the identity matrix times A is also equal to A.